Yo, what is up everybody? It's Raging Dusty here, and uh, today we are reviewing the Galaxy S22 Ultra after the hype. So, I upgraded from a Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, as you guys know, and um, I've had this phone for about three months or so. I've had it for a little while. I got this leather case for it. It's a little bit beat up, but that's all right. So... The main reason why I decided to upgrade was because, well, I'm a technology nerd, and also Galaxy Note. Even though they rebranded this as Galaxy S Ultra. And yeah, if you guys are wondering, these little dots on the screen, those are um, dust particles. I think, yeah, they're dust particles. Alright, so... The first thing I like about this phone, the fingerprint sensor, obviously, but um, the actual first thing I like about this phone is look how bright this display is. This thing is bright. Very bright. I have no max brightness because of course I do. You probably can't really see it. There we go. It is on max brightness. The brightness on this display is just incredible. The colors, everything. The, everything about this display is just incredible. 120 hertz, it's extra smooth. I love the fluidity. You can't really see it on camera, but I love the fluidity. Everything's just nice and snappy about this phone. And I just love it. So you're probably asking, is this my daily? No. This is my daily at this moment. I've had the Z Fold 3 for almost a year. So, um, yeah. The next thing I like about this phone is just the storage options that you have to choose from. I picked 256 gigs because it was a free upgrade from 128. But, yeah. You can go 128 with 8 gigs of RAM. The rest have 12. So 256, 512, and 1 terabyte. And yeah, the next thing that I do like is the color options. Now let me see if I can get this case off. Alright. I did get the case off. So I got the, uh, the sky blue. It looks kind of like white on, on camera, but in person, this is a lot more blue in person than it is on camera. On camera, it looks like gray or kind of like a snow white, but this is really pretty. I like this color. I'm kind of upset about the color option I got, though, because the rumored color option of purple, and you guys know purple is my favorite color. They have a rumored purple coming out, so I'm definitely going to probably get some sort of S22 series device in purple. And yeah. But the color options, you have phantom black, green. Um, my mom has the green S22, and I think the green looks sick. Uh, you do also have phantom white. You have the bold burgundy color option, which I saw in person at the AT&T store. The burgundy color just looks sick. I I should have got the burgundy now I think of it. I wish I did. But that's all right. I do really like the sky blue. The sky blue is sick. Then on top of that, you have Samsung exclusive colors. That being sky blue, red. I've seen videos of red. It looks orange. It's not red. And also, we do have the um, graphite color option, which is just gray. The graphite color option, in my opinion, I think looks a little bit better than black. But... Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of black. The next thing that I really like about this phone, let me just unlock it real quick, is the camera. Let me go to the gallery. Let me just make sure I don't have any sensitive photos or anything silly on here. Go to the gallery. This thing takes crisp photos. I mean, look at the detail on this puppy. It's hard to see through the camera, but 
super sharp, super crisp photos. Right, nothing else. Um, and we got some more photos of the puppy. This camera is just sick. I love this camera. And yeah, let me see if I can find something else here. I also did take a picture of one of my friends. They had, they had a birthday party for their, their kid. Uh, his name is James, as you can see. It took amazing photos of the birthday cake. Not only did they have that, they had this. This cute panda birthday cake. This is sick. I didn't have any of the cake, so I wasn't feeling dessert at the time. But these looked sick. Not gonna lie. Right. So the next thing that I really like about this phone... The, dis the display design. There's no notch, just a simple little hole punch cutout right there. Minimal intrusion of the display, unlike the notch on my iPhone that I'm currently recording on. And the last thing I like about the display, the camera design, or not the display. Last thing I like about this phone is the camera design. Just clean, minimalistic, each camera has their own ring, no camera bump. Each camera has their individual bumps and it's not as big as the S21 Ultras. And yeah, I think it looks sick. All right, so now let's get into the things that I don't like. The first thing I don't like is how hot this phone gets when gaming. Now, I know that it's a problem with the Snapdragon 8 Generation 1 but I do not like how warm this phone gets when gaming. Sorry, I gotta readjust my hand. It's getting uncomfortable. I don't like how hot this phone gets when gaming. It gets pretty hot. Even in somewhat cool room, where it's very well cooled, this phone still gets pretty hot when gaming. And I'm not a big fan of how hot this phone gets. Some, there was even a time where I was playing Fortnite on this phone, and the phone was almost too hot to touch. That is not good. Not only does it damage the battery, it could also have a risk of fire if the phone actually gets too hot. And it's not good for your battery health at all. It will destroy your phone's battery health. But... It's all, all consequences of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chip getting too hot the next thing I don't like about this phone it's not necessarily a dislike and I'm sorry for the radio guys it's there's a call going on and yeah I'm sorry about the radio and I can't turn it down because I can't pause the video because iPhone but yeah all right what was I saying all right, the next thing that I, that I don't like is battery life could be better. Could be better. Now, it's not Galaxy Z Fold 3 pitiful. I used this thing for two hours from 100%. It's already at 49. Yeah, the battery life on the Z Fold 3 is pitiful. This phone lasts way longer than that. And it could be better. Like, sometimes... When I did the test of battery life, I have the Galaxy S10 5G still. That phone still gets better battery life than this. But maybe by about, give or take, 30 minutes. About like 30 minutes better. This phone still gets good battery life, but it could be better. And the last thing that I don't like about this phone is the curved display. We gotta stop the curved display, man. I'm sick of accidental touches, and the curved display just isn't doing it. Look at durability tests with curved displays. They're not durable. You have to manufacture like specific cases for this to be protective. Just to FYI, I do not like cases. The only cases that I do like are leather cases because they feel premium. And yeah, the curved display, man. It's time to go. It's time to go. 
you've had a long run. I mean, don't get me wrong. Curved displays look beautiful design-wise. They look absolutely beautiful design-wise. Like, with the way the display just curves over the edge. Your content curves over the edge. It looks beautiful. But I'm sick of accidental touches. I do accidental touches all the time. And I really don't like them. So, personally, I also prefer a flat display. Like, when I'm using the Z Fold 3, the display is just flat. The display is flat, so I don't have that problem. Whereas with this phone, I do have that problem. And I'm just not a fan of curved displays. So I think it's time for them to go. And yeah, that's been my review. Is this phone still worth it after the hype? Honestly, if you don't mind having the curved display and the slightly worse battery life than the S22 Plus... You also want that S Pen. You like that 45 watt charging support, which I forgot to mention is something that I do like. And you want a nice, amazing camera, a well-built Android phone that's going to last you a couple years easily. Yeah, this phone's definitely worth it. But if I had to personally recommend a phone right now, this is definitely the phone I would recommend. This is my favorite. Unless you are looking at Prime Day sales on Amazon Prime and you decide you want to get into the foldable ecosystem, then this phone right here would have been worth it if you got it during the Prime Day sale at $1,100. That's definitely worth it, in my opinion. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you found it, like, if you found it good, leave a like on the video. If you guys like my content, hit the subscribe button down below and. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And also, I'm sorry for the inconsistent upload schedule. I'm trying to work on it. Have a good one.